Hello people! Today we will be looking at the Filipino war brides that went to the United States after World War II. The Filipino war brides were a group of women from the Philippines who married Filipino Americans and American military personnel after World War II. The term war bride was commonly used to describe these women who had married American soldiers during the war and then moved to the United States. After the war, many of these women faced significant challenges in their new country, including discrimination, cultural differences, and hope successes. In this report, we will explore the experiences of the Filipino war brides after World War II. Background The Philippines was a U.S. territory from 1898 until 1946 when it became an independent country. During World War II, the Philippines was occupied by Japan and many Filipinos suffered greatly under Japanese rule. The United States, which had promised the Philippines independence after the war, helped liberate the country from Japanese control. American military personnel, including soldiers and sailors, were stationed in the Philippines during the war. After the war, many American soldiers who had been stationed in the Philippines decided to marry Filipino women. Most of the Filipino Americans who came to the U.S. in the 1920s, 1930s to the U.S. were male. The ratio was about 10 to 1 male to female. It was illegal for them to marry white women, so a lot of them married other ethnic groups such as blacks, Mexicans, and Native Americans. When the war with Japan started, a lot of Filipinos joined the military and helped liberate the Philippines from the Japanese. Most of the Filipino American volunteers were single and a lot of them married Filipino war brides. Without the Filipino veterans marrying Filipino war brides, there would likely be a much smaller Filipino American community. Filipino American soldiers met the majority of Filipino women in the Visayan region of the Philippines. This is the reason there are so many mixed Filipino major marriages among mostly Ilocano fi Filipinos who were the majority of Filipinos who came in the 1920s and 1930s with the Visayans. The women came to be known as war brides which was both good and bad. Was it love at first sight or love at first sight of a soldier? For some, it was a lasting union, but there was often a stigma attached to some women who were looking to escape the Philippines. There also was the undeniable presence of the comfort women. Filipino women sold into sexual slavery to serve the needs of the Japanese army who occupied the Philippines. And then there were the marriages of Filipino women who met African American and Latino soldiers. And yet, the positive outcome is that many of those marriages did survive and the Filipino women came to America with their veteran husbands to start Filipino American families. The war brides provided the base of the World War II baby boom for Filipinos. Add to that the GI Bill and later laws that allowed for the Filipinos in the army to gain citizenship. And you can see how the mere fact that one was a World War II vet made a difference in Filipinos' life in America. These women who had suffered greatly during the war saw marrying an American as a way to escape poverty and build a better life for themselves and their families. Many of these marriages were arranged quickly and the couples had only known each other for a short time. Challenges faced by Filipino war brides 
The Filipino war brides faced numerous challenges when they arrived in the United States. One of the biggest challenges was the culture shock. A lot of the war brides were from the rural area in the Philippines and had a lot of problem adjusting to life in the U.S. Many war brides were very homesick as they do not know much people in the U.S. and left family and friends in the Philippines. Also, the war brides had a hard time looking for a good paying jobs to help make ends meet. They also faced legal challenges including obtaining visas and citizenships and some were deported if their marriage were not considered legitimate. Efforts to help Filipino war brides Despite the challenges faced by Filipino war brides, efforts were made to help them adjust to life in the United States. Many Filipino communities in the U.S. form support groups to provide assistance and resources to the war brides. These groups help the war brides find jobs, housing, and provided emotional support. The American government also took steps to help Filipino war brides. In 1946, Congress passed the War Brides Act which allowed U.S. servicemen to bring their foreign-born wives and children to the United States. The act provided transportation for the war brides and their children and waived the usual immigration fees. Conclusion The experiences of the Filipino war brides after World War II were shaped by a range of challenges, including discrimination, homesickness, and financial difficulties. Despite these challenges, the war brides work hard to build new lives for themselves and their families in the United States. Support from Filipino communities and government efforts such as the War Brides Act help make this transition easier. Today, the legacy of the Filipino war brides lives on as their descendants continue to celebrate their culture and heritage in the United States. I hope you enjoyed our video for today. Please help our channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you and see you all in our next video.